What are criteria statements? How do they work? In this video, I'm going to answer all of these questions and show real examples for campaigns, Zoho Marketing Automation, and Zoho Desk. And by the end of the video, hopefully you'll have a better understanding, regardless of what application you're using, on how to use criteria statements and adjust them. Before I get started though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's dive in. So before I jump into the real examples, let's go over a brief summary of what criteria statements are. If you remember back in grade school, you might have learned about compound statements and using logical connectors such as and or, or to connect these compound statements. It's very similar with all of the Zoho applications that use criteria. So the two main terms you're gonna to need to know is and or or. And means both statements need to be true for the condition to be true and move on. Whereas or only one of the statements needs to be true, the other can be false and the condition will move on and complete that criteria that's required. So if we take a look at an example of and in Zoho campaigns, we have the state is California and the client status is active. So only people in the state of California that also have the client status as active will receive emails in this campaign. Both statements need to be true for it to move on. Now, if we look at an or example, anyone in the state of California or any active client is going to receive this email. So regardless of state, if their status is active, they're going to receive this email. Or if they're in California, but their status is inactive or whatever other fields you might have there, everyone is going to receive these emails. So only one of the statements needs to be true to complete this criteria. And then last, if we kind of look at a compound statement criteria, here we have the state is California or the state is Texas. So if we look at this, either you can live in California or Texas and your client status needs to be active. So if we look at the criteria pattern down here, which is where many of us get confused, we look at criteria one, which state is California, or criteria two, state is Texas. So only one of these needs to be true. You need to live in California or you need to live in Texas. So just like math, we have the order of operations where we do the parentheses first and work our way out. The same is true in the Zoho applications when you're dealing with criteria patterns. So we're gonna take state is California or Texas, and then after one of these is true, if it can move on from one of these, then it will look at the and statement, which means only active clients are going to receive these emails. So that's a brief explanation of criteria statements. Now let's go ahead and hop into Zoho Marketing Automation because it's gonna be slightly different and I'll show you how it works. All right, so to get started, let's take a look at marketing automation because it's slightly different than Zoho campaigns and I'll jump back into Zoho campaigns and go a little bit more in depth with adjusting the logical uh, brackets and conditions. So with marketing automation, I went ahead and created this example. We've got the three Martins in here, all from different states. Two of us work for Zanata and one of us is just from Texas. And I've created this criteria where the state is either California, New York, or Texas, or you also can just work for Zanata. So right now, anyone within the company that works for Zanata can show up in this criteria or anyone that lives in these three states. And I just have a small sample size in this demo. So what's different though, is you'll notice there aren't brackets inside of marketing automation. Your brackets are actually these add new groups. So if I were to change this to and, this is one group, as you can see, because it's all in the box. If I hit the plus here, I could add in a second company here and we could go ahead and, you know, is Podcaster Zen. We could go ahead and add this or we could add a new group entirely. So now we have the and connector is, this might be getting a little confusing but the brackets are essentially this. There's no actual visual where it's condition one, two, three. It visually displays it for you. So in group one, any three states is fine. You know, we can't really have ands here because you're not going to live in three states at the same time. So we'd only use or. And then here we've got the and connector. So this one of these statements needs to be true. And then one of these statements needs to be true. 
And then if we wanted to add an extra and such as like client status is active, we would also have the and here or you could add an or. Just keep in mind when you add an or, if you have a bunch of conditions here and you have an or for a different group, that means basically anything that's true in this will neglect any of these fields up here because only this one needs to be true with the logic. So if we were to change that to or. So keep that in mind as you're building these, but the Zoho campaign, so now if we delete some of this and we save, I had three before and I changed the logic to and, so now if we look at contacts, there's only two. We lost uh, Texas because they didn't work for Zenata. So as we change the criteria, it's going to change the rules of who's going to show up in your segment. So visually, it's a little bit easier, I guess, to see it inside a marketing automation. However, I kind of like the campaigns way better because you have more control of actually really defining how you want these or and statements to be grouped together. And you can get a lot more creative on, you know, what your what your criteria for your segment is going to be. So it's kind of going to wrap up this example for marketing automation. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Desk. Okay, so for Zoho Desk, similar to CRM or projects, you're going to have workflow rules. With these workflow rules, you're also going to have criteria patterns. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example inside of Zoho Desk. So I created a comment workflow rule. And basically, the logic here is we want, I went ahead, I want happiness is bad for the, the rating. Status is escalated, and then the subject line is, how did we do? Anytime someone comments on one of these, all three of these conditions need to be met. Now, I want to show you something. These, as you're building these, you want to kind of consider the order because you can't do certain things, which is unfortunate. I actually wanted this to be happiness rating is bad or the subject line is how did we do? And the escalation is escalated. So regardless of the subject line, if it's bad, I want to show up. Or if it's just the how did we do, then, you know, it could be a good rating too, I guess. And then, or any bad rating and then the escalated. So you would think that you could just go ahead and go in here and I want conditions, you know, first, let me just show you, you can do like, or, and I can save that. It's going to change that for you here, but I don't want the status to be escalated. I want that to be on the outside and the and for three and the subject for three. I can't go in, however, and change this from three to two. It's going to give you an error. So as you're building these, I would actually have to delete two and now add three to go ahead and fulfill the criteria. I would need to adjust it from the get go on, you know, the things that I'm so status is we add it now and then is so now I could go ahead and edit the criteria here and we can go ahead and delete these extra brackets since they're not needed. So now it's one or the other here. I'll change that to or and then and three. So now it's how I wanted to build. But the reason I'm pointing this out is you can get some really complicated criteria and rules. And if you don't stack them in the right order, it's going to cause you a headache down the road because you're going to have to kind of redo the criteria and adjust it accordingly. So that's a very brief example of how criteria works inside of Zoho Desk. You know, we have our condition one. So this one's going to be fulfilled first. Tickets either bad or the subject line is how did we do, which we could mean good criteria or OK uh, happiness ratings could be met here as long as the subject line is this. And we're only going to be dealing with the status of the ticket being escalated. So keep that in mind as you're building these outs, you know, look at the logic down here to make sure your criteria is being fulfilled. All right. So next, let's go ahead and jump back into Zoho campaigns and then it's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. So lastly, we'll hop back to Zoho campaigns where the slides included some examples and let's just do a couple states. So we'll do state is California, state is New York again, and state is Texas. And we'll do company is Zenata. So here we've got the different states. We have all and statements, which could never be true. 
But let's go ahead and change this. And you'll notice here we've got a bunch of parentheses. And it's going to be the same that we just covered in Zoho Desk, where you can't move three to four, and or I'm sorry, four to two, and change that around. But we can adjust the pattern here. So we want these to be ORs, and we want this to be true. So anyone from these three states that works at Zanata, we want to give this email. Maybe there's some tax change in these states where you're now having to pay 100% of your income in taxes. I feel live or maybe we can exclude texas from that but uh let's go ahead and delete the parentheses and i can simply you'll notice there's spaces here too whereas zoho desk was all run together so now i could simply just change it from how it was before ditch a parenthesis and it now knows to you know run this logical statement as so you can go ahead and save this and just like that, it adjusted the three. It's going to fall into any of these can be true within the same bracket. And then lastly, the company names, it should be Zanata. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for criteria. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps your channel out. Also, if you have questions, this question was from Club Zanata and I've turned it into a video. Our team does our best to find you know, questions that we think get asked a lot to make content around those videos. So just head over to club.zanata and, you know, don't hesitate to join the community and drop us a line there uh, if you've got a question and we'll do our best to answer it. And then lastly, for the latest Zoho news, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at zanata.com forward slash Zoho. Get into your mailbox every Monday morning at 6 a.m. Pacific without missing a beat. Have a great one and we'll see you in the next video.